Hey y'all, happy Vlogtober day 18. I can't believe that there's like oh, seven days till Christmas. This is crazy, it's crazy. Um, so today we are burning, what is this? Pomegranate and sandalwood. Let's see over here, let me move this. Check it out. I mean, not that there's like really much to see, but like it's, it's smelling pretty good. I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Um, it's still morning time, so I'm gonna go get dressed, um, and get the pups dressed. I don't mind the dishwasher, but I am trying my best to get my little Pandora bracelets clean. Um, one thing said that you could take it to the store, but y'all, y'all couldn't pay me to go into a mall this week. Um, so we are trying with hot, well... It was hot, but um, it was. It still had some steam. But hot boiling water and some Dawn juice soap, and it's looking a lot better than it did. This one still looks a little tarnished, so I'm probably leaving it in here for mm, probably about 20 more minutes or so because I'm trying to get it so it'll be clean. Like these are my new little charmies. Um. So yeah. So oh, because I got the Game of Thrones. Um, little bracelet, and I love this one. A little, I don't know. I feel like this one is easier to wear and not hit it on stuff, like the bangle. But I like how the bangle has the little thing on the end, so it's easy to, like, you have to screw off or, like, roll off your charms. Whereas with this one, as soon as I undo it, honey, everything just gone. It's just all trying to fall off in the car. Oh. A mess, a mess. But yeah, so hopefully I will remember. And we're doing a hand mask because the Christmas tree beat me up, y'all. Like, look at that. Oh, it's so painful. Like, so um, yeah, hand masking it up today. As I wait for the garage to go down, guess where I'm going? To the post office. Guess what, y'all? We made it. And when I tell you, this parking lot is popping. Okay. Okay. I'm going. Wish me luck. All right, y'all. So I'm back in the car. It only took um 11 minutes. There were four people in front of me. And ah, if only my seatbelt would work. Um, all the people were really nice in there. So I was like, oh, this is good. Um, so yes, I mailed off my packages and my cards. And all is well with the world. Ooh, and small quick PSA. Um, so they are running <laughs> slowly, or not slowly, but they're getting very low on the number of free um, flat rate priority boxes. So just in case you need to send something, you still have a little bit of time, but you know, just be mentally prepared in case they don't have a flat rate box left up in there because it was looking slam, honey, slam. Now, back to the castle. Yeah, you wanna put your outfits on? We ready? Let's go. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Are you being silly? Are you being silly? You ready for your treats? Yeah? Come on, let's go to the kitchen. Juicy kitchen. Tuxi, have you been wrapping presents? What's he been doing? What have you been doing, bud? All right. Oh, let me put the princess there. All right, fit check time. Yes, good job, Tuxi. It says too late to quit. Good job. And Sterling has her little gingerbread. Good job. And Winnie's also too lit to quit. Hey, Winnie Benny. Oh my gosh, Tuck, she just inhaled it and she's off. <laughs> All right, tell. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm back. Tuck's is getting ready to come and cry, but it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. Um, so, have some baby. Super cute to show you guys. Oh, I mean, I hope that it picks it up in the frame. Um, sorry, I should have. I should have opened this. So I opened the, I opened all the the cheese and the drinks and stuff to be ready to show you guys. <laughs> and I forgot like the pizza and the resistance. Oh. 
Um, so this has been just like chilling here in a, in a package. And I was like, what is that? And then there it was. It's so cute. I mean, just like, oh, so adorable. So adorable. Um, so this will go in the guest bathroom. <sighs> so excited. Okay, okay. Back to our normally scheduled program. Also, if you are wondering where it is from, you already know. It is... It is <laughs> from Pottery Barn. It was, I think, 54? I know, I know. It was high. But, like, when I tell you, it was so hard to try and... Um, it was so hard to try and find an actual gingerbread bath mat. Like, it was insane. Um, so let's see. So our wine for today is Lumen Gate San, San Giovese from Italy. I don't know. Sounds fancy schmancy. Let's pour a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And then our white chocolate um, for the Irish cream. I'm super excited about that. Like, yeah. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And then a hazy IPA. So, all right, I am gonna roll up my sleeves before we get down to business. You already know, you already know I forgot about um, my jewelry and stuff, um, or my Pandora jewelry. Um, <laughs> to clean it off like I put it in the Dodge soap and I was like okay I'm gonna go back too before the water cools off and I yeah I didn't go back um I guess hmm do you guys want to well mm, yeah let me grab it real real quick okay so these oh yeah well I don't know this might be silly Cause I'm like, will you even be able to see it? Tuck, no one asked you. You can't model the bracelet. Your paws are too small. Okay. Um, but these are my current uh, little charms from my recent bracelet. Uh, let's see. So we have the little Christmas mug. Uh, Game of Thrones. I'm a huge Game of Thrones lover. So I have the little fire and ice uh, Murano bead. A little gingerbread man. And then my little pumpkin and then the iron throne i think it's so cute how it has like the little green stone there um and then <laughs> my little skeleton for skellies and then this little thing that's at the beginning of game of thrones was like dun, 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 and like and y'all it turns and spins like in all different directions as well and then my little gingerbread house it is a boy on this side and then there's a girl, ooh, <laughs> there's a girl on this side. And then a little gingerbread house. And of course, a dragon egg. I would really, oh, and then this, love this. Um, so this should be, um, oh yeah, the uh, wolf, oh, here, let me flip it over. Um, the wolf for um, House of Stark, and then the dragon for, ah, for House of Targaryen. Did I flip that over the right way? No, the wrong way, sorry. Meh. Hopefully you can see it and the camera isn't like losing its mind trying to focus. But those are clean because they're clean. Um, the other ones, I'll have to clean them. Either I will, I think I'll just talk, we'll just talk about them tomorrow because today has been a wild day and yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. Um, so <laughs> Because I'm like, I'm probably going to have to make yet another water bath for them and stuff. And yes, I am going to put on my little, um, put on my little hand mask because y'all, when I tell you, like, look at this, like, this is awful. I mean, it is scratched up, bleeding, like, this is ridiculous. So, yeah. Um, I think I want this to go over the top, right? Yeah, okay. 
I wish they had like a left right, but I guess it really doesn't make a difference. But um, this mask is a hand mask with argon and macadamia oil. It's free of parabens, phthalates, formaldehyde, and gluten. Oh, that's nice. At least it's free of gluten. Oh yeah, we gotta talk about that. Okay, so we got Pizza Hut last night and the hubby and I were like, I don't know, we both kind of agreed that like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like the best that we've ever had, which is fine. It was still like, it was still good pizza, so like can't be mad at that. Um, sorry, I'm like, I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, I swear y'all, all the directions for these things are so different. And if you're wondering why I was like, oh, I was looking to see what's that, because I wanted the little sticker thing to be on the top, so that way, I don't know, I just wanted it to be on the top. I guess my logic was like, I could tighten it tighter. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just gonna look silly, you know, talk seriously, chatting you guys up <laughs> um, with my little hand gloves on. Um, so anyways, so yeah, we were talking about it and we we're like, ah, uh, like it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't our favorite. There's this one place so far, um, I think it's Tony's Pizza Palace or Tony's Pizza Shop something. Um, which is cl pretty close to us and it's near the Pizza Hut as well. <laughs> the competition is stiff. Um, but we kind of like the crust on that one better. I, like, don't get me wrong, I love stuffed crust. I was born and raised on stuffed crust pizza. <laughs> I was born and raised on stuffed crust pizza. Oh, um, I was born and raised on Pizza Hut. Every now and then we would have Little Caesars, but it didn't hit the same. It was Pizza Hut. I was in the, I was born in the 90s. Like, what more, what more can I say? Um, so yeah, so that's what I was used to. Um, so I love and I am very partial to stuffed crust, but the rest of the crust was just, it was giving almost rubber. It was giving like, no. And the cheese was good, the pepperoni was good, but like the crust just was not crusting. Like, I don't know what they did to their formula, but they need to bring back whatever they were doing in the 90s, like, because, yeah. Um, the cheesy bread was really good. We started to order the garlic cheese bread because I was like, ooh, what's this garlic roasted cheese bread? And they won't let you do a double because with the original and the cheese bread, they'll let you do um, doubles. And I was like, what? Like, why can't I do it with the garlic one? Because the double order, I think, is like a big set or like 10 and then um, it's only like three bucks more, you know? So like, come on, like help sister out. Um, but anyhow, so let's try the vino here. I feel like I look like a lunch lady. Hmm. Interesting. Not bad, but a little, dare I say sour? Not like sour tart sour, but like. <coughs> it's not my favorite. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I tore the pizza up and the pizza proceeded to tear me up because <laughs> y'all know how I said before that like, I'm a little gluten unhappy. Um, and so I was being straight up foolish because I definitely had like a bunch of slices of that sourdough bread that I loved from Sam's Club. Had a couple of those and then decided, yeah, we should get pizza tonight. And of course, you know, we didn't get a gluten-free pizza. So, Ate two slices, four pieces of the breadsticks. Because, of course, I had to have the breadsticks or cheese sticks. I know. I know. Y'all are like, really? Not yeah. I admit it. I made foolish decisions. They were physically painful. But I don't regret it. So it's okay, you know. If it was the worst decision that, that I made yesterday, it's fine. Um, oh, sorry. This is the port wine cheddar. Right? Yeah, cheddar with port wine. We've been there, been there before. It didn't tickle a little fancy, so we're good. Um, but yeah, so that was the verdict. 
Um, as far as, so we watched, oh, so the husband has been watching The Fall of the House of Usher, right? I don't do scare movies because my neuro spiciness plus, plus my imagination being like vast and very creative, I don't have no time for the musical scoring to like heighten up the suspense and then boo, something jumps out and da da da. Because I, I keep seeing the thing, like, every time I go downstairs, like, mentally, I'm like, is someone going to jump out or, like, taking the dogs out? And last night, I was like, what's going on? Anybody going to jump up on me? Like, what's really good? Tux, there's no need for you to cry. You can go get in your bag. Mm-hmm. <sighs> He's a mess. Um, but, yeah, so that coupled with um leave the world behind like that was wild too right text was it wild was it wild child was it wild hmm? he's like girl bye um but yeah so uh-uh uh-uh go to your room go to your room go to your room he's like who are you with your mickey mouse looking hands go to your room Thank you. Good job. You good, Sterling. You can hang out. Um, yeah. But so then we watched uh, Leave the World Behind. That was, it was wild. It was a trip. But like, I don't know. Some of you may be able to relate to this. Uh, but like, whenever I watch movies, it's like I can anticipate what's getting ready to happen. And it just like drives me up a wall to have to wait to see it actually happen. And that's how I was feeling with the movie. And I was just like, Meh. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. It was a good movie, but it was just like the entire time. I'm like, why is no one listening? Like, why is no one listening? Oh, but I don't want to like spoil it for anyone. It's a really good movie. If I had the choice to be able to watch it again, like I don't normally watch movies like like, I don't know. Once I watch them once, I'm usually kind of, like, done. But, I mean, if I could go back in time, like, would I suggest for myself to watch it? Like, would I enjoy it? Yes. Yeah. So, I would say if you have a Netflix account or access to a Netflix account, um, I would definitely say to watch it. Because it's, it's wild. And, you know, I get that people are all, like, riled up um, about the, I don't know, about the different... Um, things that are portrayed in the actual um movie like I could get that and I feel like some of the politics kind of tap dances in there as well but again um you know who am I but a low man on the totem pole but I just feel like that movie was fairly eye-opening to how much we rely on um technology and some people might say this is a scare tactic, whatever, blah, blah, blah. All I know is last, no, was it last year or year before last? I made sure that we owned a, um, a wind up radio, um, during Amazon prime day. I ordered those little life straws and what other little kooky stuff do we have? We don't have, I need to order a, um, a fire starter. But, like, also, we watch, um, what is that show? I remember when um, my husband and I were first dating, we would watch Naked and Afraid. And we would be, like, so judgmental over these people. Like, when I tell you, I, I could not do the show at all. But it's still fun to sit back and be like, really? You gonna bring a knife and your partner gonna bring a knife? What y'all gonna do? Knife up the trees? Like, what, what was your thought process? You know? <laughs> <laughs> just like ridiculous stuff but um they always have like the little fire starter and like in my mind I was like why do you need that if you have matches but like if it's wet or you, I'm like you just don't know what and your matches could eventually run out or like you don't have something to strike it like I don't know you just never know call me one of them kooky crazy people or a doomsday prepper whatever what have you but I was like if anything it made me start thinking about I go to your room. Sir, go to your room. See, he's making me be mean. I don't want to have to be the mean one, but like, you can't be over here. Yeah, I know you can hear me. Go to your room. 
I'm like, you can't be over here um, whining and dining. He out here acting like an IPA. He wouldn't come on the couch. He's a mess. Mm, this IPA is a mess too. I'm just gonna chug it to just let it be over. Mm -mm. Um, but anyhow, I was thinking about how like, you know, growing up, um, so my parents were uh, in their like 40s, 30s when they had me. So I have older parents. Um, and so like, I don't know, you know, you grow up in a village and, you know, so to speak, like when people are like, oh, you know, you have um, older people like helping to look out for you, helping you with your age and development and all that kind of stuff or whatever. And so it's like funny how I picked up on different little stuff, like cooking certain things or um, like with my dad, my dad's very handy. So like my dad taught me how to change a tire, how to change the oil in my truck, um, you know, how to um, wire the uh, Christmas decorations, like, you know, like little stuff like that. Um, and so it just made me think of like how, you know, nowadays it's so, it's more convenient to just like buy stuff or to pay for someone to do stuff. But I'm like, what happens when the one day comes where like something changes, right? Cause y'all know in 2020, something wild happened and everything kind of changed a little bit. Um, the, the why and all that rhyme or reason, that's a whole different thing. We ain't finna touch all that. But I'm just saying that there is a possibility or it was like a wake up call that there's a possibility that what are our creature comforts and what we've gotten used to could easily change, right? And so now I'm like, I want to make sure that I do what is best for us to be able to function um, in the best way that we can if all of the creature comforts and like stuff that, of convenience that we were used to, if those disappeared. Um, and so, yeah, I need to get back into that. But then at the same time, I'm just like, I mean, no offense to doomsday preppers, but then I'm like, I don't know, because I don't, I, like, I can see the fire starter. I would love to learn how to garden, but I don't know if I have the patience for it. And then in this South Carolinian sun, I don't know if we have the climate for it, but we finna find out, I guess. Well, no, actually, actually, look, you didn't hear this from me. But someone in our neighborhood has this like super fancy glass house. Wait, is it glass house? No, it's not a glass house. Is it a glass house? Greenhouse. Oh my God. It looks like a glass house because it's clear, but they have this little greenhouse. Yo, when I tell y'all, it's like, it's like a shed, but the thing is see-through, but like you can't really see. And we were just walking around taking the dogs around to like look at the Christmas decorations. And so I wasn't like, I kind of wanted to record it and take a picture, but the people were out front. So I was like, oh, that'd be weird. Um, but yeah, and then I don't feel, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to look online to see if I can find like a random picture of what it looks similar to. Cause I hate to like put somebody else on blast. But when I tell you, it looks so cool. And I was like, this is like the garden paradise. I don't know, it's terrible. It's so terrible because I feel like I'm one of those people who likes to just like jump in feel free to laugh because like yeah my face is itching um but i'm like one of those people who like jumps into something i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna jump in and like i want all the expensive things just because like but i'm one of those people who's like oh like if i start this and i like hyper focus in on this thing like i'm doing it to the max like you can't you can't stop me like i'm really finna do this and i'm gonna like do it up and i'm gonna do it the best way that i can the best way that i know how you know like I'm, there ain't no half step in so like when i saw that i was like if i'm a garden i want a garden like that greenhouse or glass house if you had asked me five minutes ago um but yeah it looks super cool um but anyways <laughs> enough about me stalking my neighbor's yards <laughs> but if you're watching like your greenhouse is pretty it's, it's cool for what i can see it's cool and if you want to invite me to come like check it out do a tour just let me know um anyways so <laughs> we'll learn how to do
see that. Just the like grow some food. Plus, y'all, it's getting expensive out here at the grocery store. I keep seeing memes of like, I went to the grocery store, paid $150, and all I got was three bags. And you know, I would laugh. Back in the day, I would laugh. I would be petty. I would laugh and be like, mm, must have went to Trader Joe's or ooh, must have been shoving a hair steeter, would you? <laughs> Honey, now that's like going to the dollar store or the Dollar Tree. You, you only got three bags and spent 150 some dollars. So you ain't got nothing to show for it. I'm like, the food has not changed. So what is going on? Um, so yeah, so I would like to be able to garden maybe even be able to make a little bit of hooch. I don't know, I think it'd be fun to try. I've seen the beer ones, the beer growlers where you can like, but I don't know, it's something about the yeast that just freaks me out. I don't know, but I could probably get over it. Um, and then the wine, I feel like it would be hard cause you need like so many grapes, but like if they made a way to make wine, like grow your own grapes for your own wine kind of thing, like. That'd be cool. I would definitely put that in my greenhouse. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I just started thinking about this wild stuff. Um, and then, oh, I took this one class in MBA school about, um, what was it called? Um, energy sources. It had some fancy name. And I, part of me was like, I have no business taking this class. But it seems so interesting. And I was like, well, we never really learn about energy in real life, so why not? And then, um, so it like went into solar power systems. And like, before I go into this, just so you know, this is a very brief, like jagged edge iteration of like the real stuff. If you wanted me to get into the real stuff, I can, but like, I just want to simplify it to make it real, real simple. So it's not like a five minute thing. But um, basically like, you know, people always think like, oh, we can change away from like coal and other sources of energy that are not good for the environment, shift over to wind and to solar and da, 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, because one day I'm gonna be like, forget all these HOAs. I'm trying to be out here living off the grid, living off the land, saving on tax and da, 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 da. and like I don't need no internet but I'd need internet but anyways this is what I was thinking back in the day okay foolishness I know I know and so then taking the class it's like no like the way <laughs> the way the energy grids are set up the way the electricity around here is set up it don't work like that because it, it's like when you create energy, you can only store but so much and you have to use it. And it's like this crazy balance between creating energy, using it so that you don't like blow up the whole grid and the whole system. And, you know, we talked about the stuff that happened in Texas and like how the different energy grids are set up across the U.S. and how they like pull from one region to another region wild stuff okay wild stuff even wilder we were talking about the solar panels and how like people want to get their solar panel on the roof and all that kind of stuff and i was like yeah because you can save money and da, 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 da. and it's just and like all your energy is gonna come from that and it's like no you only get the energy when the sun is shining so if it's cloudy for five days good luck you on the grid <laughs> And then if you, let's say it's super sunny outside and you're like getting all this sun and it's beaming, but you ain't home, you ain't using up the energy. The energy's gonna hit the grid and go down to Sarah and Martin's house where they finna live it up and the energy company's gonna charge them up not knowing that the energy is coming from you. You know, it was just like, shame. Yeah, it, because yes, I thought that like, Somehow I could cheat the system. I mean, theoretically, if you created your own solar panel on your own source of land and you had a way to harvest the energy and like safely harvest the energy or safely expend the energy, but harvest enough that you would need overnight or like have some backup for in case the sun doesn't come out one day, then like theoretically it could work. But like, I'm not an engineer, so... Yeah, anyways, that was like, yeah, that's why I took the class. Well, or that's what I learned from the class. So it kind of shut down this whole dream of going off the grid and living like, you know, all those like ex uh, CIA, FBI shows that I like to watch. <laughs> but yeah, 
It was well. It was a time to be had. I don't regret taking the class. It was it was super like it was jam packed full of knowledge. I got my nerd on. Like what can I say? It, it was great. <sighs> a time to be alive. <laughs> okay, this is the white chocolate. Mmm. Um, y'all, oh, so the post office wasn't too bad. There were four people in front of me, um, very nice, and uh, the two workers in there, like, they were super nice. They complimented me on my little gingerbread purse. Um, but yeah, so not too bad. Um, I'm glad that I, like, I did it. I got everything out. Now I can breathe easy. Now I just have to go online and order the gifts that I was going to order online to have them shipped. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a mess, but like, hear me out, hear me out, right? So like, I didn't want stuff to like, show up too early. I know, that makes absolutely no sense. I don't know why I thought that, but like when I was thinking about all these gifts back in the beginning of December, I was like, ooh, like, yeah, I'm gonna get this, this, but I'm gonna wait a little while, you know? Like, let some beers, I mean, some beers, let some bills clear out, you know, pay a couple of things down, wait for another paycheck, and then, and then, I can start sending stuff out. And, and mind you, like, it's not even, like, that much stuff. It's just, like, Amazon, like, little things. Um. So, yeah, but then it was, like, the 10th, and I'm like, oh, it would be silly to send it now. Like, I'll just wait. It's like, yeah, push it out, push it out. And then in the post office today, they had the thing up. I was like, if you want to send something priority mail, the 18th, AKA today, is the last day for like guarantee that it'll get there by Christmas. And I was like, what? <laughs> it just blew my mind. I don't know. I don't know why, but it blew my mind. But it's okay. It's okay. The one thing that I need to order from this one store, um, and I mean, I don't know, it's for like, I feel like, I don't know, anyways, that one thing, the last day is tomorrow, so I'm gonna do it today. Um, I hope, I'm gonna do it today, I'm gonna do it today, for real, for real, I'm gonna do it today. And then the other thing is on Amazon, so that should be okay for Amazon. And I'm like, you know, I'm sure my mom probably doesn't even care if it gets there before Christmas or not, or at least that's what I'm gonna tell myself, so. I'll drink to that. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll see. I guess I got some shopping to do. Um, also, I've been looking into the um the little Bissell um upholstery thing. All right, and so I like I kept checking at Sands Club because I was like, oh, they have the pro one. I think it's 149. It had pretty decent reviews. Because again, like I told y'all, if I do something, I go all the way. So like at first, little me was like, oh, I should get the little baby green. But then I was like, if I'm gonna spend like a hundred some dollars, then I might as well get like the real, who is me, the real deal holy field. So I was like, oh, I might as well get the commercial one from Sam's Club. But now they came out with the Hydra Steam. I'm like, what's up with that? Like, I was like, is it, you see, you see how this starts and like. Tell me why that one is 200 bucks. And I'm just like, but apparently it's the newest thing out on the scene. <sighs> I don't know. Cause I feel like if I was already going to pay 150 for the commercial little pet pro and from the videos and the reviews that I've seen, they claim that the hydro steam is better. Cause it actually, it can steam and it can do like the regular schmegular. <sighs> so I'm like, I mean, I might as well go big or go home, right? And apparently, I think it was supposed to be like two nineteen or two twenty nine, um, and it's on sale for one ninety nine. It's on sale for one ninety nine at Target, one ninety nine at Best Buy. It's one eighty eight at Walmart, but you know how Walmart be. Walmart be always trying to say they have something, but then oh, it's actually from a third party seller. I ain't got time for that foolishness. And I think Amazon also has it for $1.99, but Amazon doesn't have any cash back. Kohl's has it as well for $1.99. And Kohl's has, um, I think you get $40 back in Kohl's cash, but you can only use it from like December 26th through maybe the 3rd of January. I'm like, what the hell? It made me feel some kind of way. So, yeah. 
I don't know, because I really need to clean our sofa. Um, and then we have another little sofa thing upstairs. And then uh, Winnie threw up on our chairs. So I got to clean that. And I'm just like, yeah, I need to go ahead and invest in one of these things. So I think I will look into that some more. Um, I believe, looking at the clock, I think these have been on for a good 10 or 15 minutes. I'm sure you're probably watching the video like, yeah, girl, they've been good. Um, so let's take these off. Not been good. See, I, I've been in the South for too long. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I love when it comes out and it's like, oh, it looks so shiny and moisturized. Like, yes, I take care of myself. <laughs> I take care of my skin. The lies. Oh, wow. Okay, look, check this out, y'all. I don't even want to, like, bend my hand because I don't want to risk, uh, like, all of a sudden, all the moisture and all the stuff is gone. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so as I'm holding it here, it looks fine, but as soon as I bend, like, you'll see the redness and stuff. But it's not as bad as it was, right? Like, it's not as bad as it was. Yeah, oh yeah. Hmm, maybe I just need to, like, keep mask, like, mask it, um, for a while. And now that I've, like, fixed the, um, the Christmas tree in the living room. I kind of want to put ornaments on, but at the same time, I'm like, it's seven days until Christmas. So like, am I really going to put the ornaments on for a week? And if I do, I'm putting gloves on because that tree cut me up and I have no time. No time to get cut up again. Mm -mm. But anyhow, I have definitely taken up a lot of your time today. <laughs> Hopefully you were thoroughly entertained with the foolishness. Um... I don't know. Yeah, today we have a dinner to go to. Um, and then tomorrow I go and get my facial with Miss April. So that's gonna be fun and interesting. We'll see. So take a good look at this face. I mean, you'll you'll see my face tomorrow as well. But if you always want to see my face, as soon as I decide to show my face on YouTube, please take a hot second to subscribe because we are on the road to a thousand subscribers by Christmas and we only have seven days. So tell a friend, share, like, leave me a little comment down below. It helps the algorithm do the algorithming, apparently. Or that's what everybody says. So I don't know. You know, who am I to question? Um, <laughs> anyhow, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you are having a marvelous Monday, darling. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.